If you could think of a stereotypical Australian seaside town, Byron Bay is it. I'm literally losing my voice because it's been such a good trip. Look at that view that we have from our balcony. Guys, last time you saw us, we were in cold, wintry Japan, and now we are back in warm, sunny Australia. And whenever we come home, we always want to try and tick off a few things that are on our Australian bucket list. And seeing as it's the last week of summer, we have come to one of the most summery places here in Australia. So yesterday, we jumped on a flight from Perth and flew all the way to the Gold Coast. Now, there are some really cool airports in Australia, and I feel like you know you've been traveling for a long time when you get excited about airports, but landing on the beach, that was pretty cool. So we've come to sunny Byron Bay, and if you don't know where that is, it basically borders Queensland and New South Wales. I'm in Queensland. Now I'm in New South Wales. Queensland, New South Wales. Now I'm in both. It's about 50 kilometers south from the airport. And so yesterday we checked into this really cute beachside bungalow at Reflections Holiday Park. It is right on Clark's Beach. It is so beautiful. So I think I need to give you guys a quick room tour and then we are off to explore some of Byron. Guys, before we show you the bungalows, we need to show you the views of the beach. We have this massive open deck plan and we can pretty much just go straight to the beach tonight for sunset. Jess, we totally need to have a barbecue tonight, by the way. I've just I noticed it. That's not and last night it was so nice because we fell asleep to the sound of the waves. I don't even know if it's picking up on camera right now, but it is so loud. But yeah, this is our little bungalow. This is our bed. Right here, we have a little TV up on the wall. It's massive and we can just open this up. I'm even thinking like again tonight, just leaving the doors open and just listening to the ocean. And then this is our little kitchen and we have a little Nespresso machine. And then down there is such a beautiful bathroom. Let's show you guys. Yes, yeah, so it's all open plan. So you just walk in here. We've got a freestanding bathtub, which is so nice. We need to do a bathtub tonight. And then we have our bathroom. I just love the beach vibes. It perfectly matches Byron Bay. And you guys will find out why when we go and show you around Byron Bay. But oh, I found a really cool place for breakfast. Yeah? So when we were checking in yesterday, we noticed this cute little cafe just outside where we're staying. So we're heading there for breakfast. It's called Beach and it is literally right on the beach. You'd be like roses in the spring, the smell of rain that it brings. Alrighty, first coffee here in Byron Bay. And I need to show you guys the view from this restaurant. Literally right on the beach, there's surfers just out there. This is just paradise out here. Guys, I would totally recommend that place for breakfast. The food was so good and the views over the beach was so nice. But this is our first time actually coming into the town of Byron Bay. And if you can think of a stereotypical Australian seaside town, Byron Bay is it. There are backpackers everywhere. No one's wearing shoes. There are so many different hipster stores, hipster cafes, all serving like organic something. So now we're just going to go and check out some of these little stores and shops. Alrighty guys, you can't come to Byron Bay and not go for a swim. It feels like it has been so long since we've been to the beach. And by the way, I picked up the new GoPro. Let me know how it's like. I picked it up because the audio on the last one was so terrible. And apparently this is all stabilized. So let me know what you guys think, but beach time. <laughs> you are my favorite place to go. You're at the end of my favorite road Above the rest, you're the best I know You are my favorite shade of rose flower Jess, what even was that? <laughs> moment out there so we head out there and then we noticed that there was no one else swimming but there were literally like two to three hundred surfers you know what we just were like let's go out there let's enjoy the waves we got dumped so bad it was just wave after wave and then we looked back at the footage because i was like oh maybe we like looked cool like jumping under the water we looked like drowning rats <laughs> i think we need to go <laughs> But we're currently having a little bit of a barbecue because we found out our beach bungalow has its own little barbecue. Yeah, we're having a sausage sizzle while we watch 
the amazing sunset from the evil waters. No. <laughs> I definitely think that Clark's Beach is great for surfing. And if you don't want to surf, then like bring a boogie board or something. But this is why you guys come to Australia. Like, look at that view that we have from our balcony. Anyway, snack time. Today we woke up super early to watch the sunrise on the beach because coming from WA we actually get a sunset in the beach so we never get to really see sunrise from the ocean so we woke up for that and now we've driven half an hour out to Killen Falls and it's currently 8am and I think we're the only people here. Very excited, I love when a place has waterfalls super close by. Guys, this waterfall is just so beautiful and the best bit is there's nobody else here. Guys, that is my favorite way to have a morning shower. <laughs> Guys, if you need at least one excuse on a reason to come to Byron, it is for the food. We've come back for breakfast. I've got a peanut butter acai bowl. Stephen ordered a big stack of pancakes. Look at this. Just this is. So what is this? Oh, and I also got an iced coffee with extra ice cream. Just, <laughs> this is meant to make you guys hungry. We're not sorry for this one, but wow, look at those pancakes. Are you ready, Steve? I'm digging into this. Oh my. This looks amazing, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Oh, wow. Guys, I realized yesterday when we went shopping, I never actually showed you guys what I got. And the reason I was so excited to come to Byron is that a lot of you guys actually ask me where I get my clothes for traveling and a lot is online. For some reason, all these online stores happen to have one store and it happens to be in Byron Bay. So yesterday I walked all over the streets and went into so many shops and I had to make sure I uh, stopped myself from buying too much. So I only bought a top and pants but I thought I would show you what I got. And also, if you guys wanna know where I get a lot of my clothes, I'll link below a couple of my favorite online stores because it's probably one of the most asked questions we get. I went into a store called This and That and I ended up getting pants and a top for an upcoming trip. You guys don't know where that is yet, but I think you guys will be very excited when you find out where we are going. Pants, green pants, this stripy top, which I'm not very good at showing, so I think I might just put it on and then I can show you guys what I got. Steve, will you come out? You have to help me with my fashion show. You ready? Very fashion, Robbie. Very good. <laughs> Looks <what> cool. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We've come out to a place. It's pretty cool for lunch. It's called The Farm. And it's pretty much a working farm. And then they've added a restaurant and a few, like, bakery bits so you can walk around. I've already found some pigs. Jess is very excited. And some of the cutest cows ever. The whole, like, concept is you come here and you kind of see the farm to table aspects so everything here is made on the farm your breads of course your meats your cheeses everything so i think that's kind of cool when you go into the restaurant to order your food oh yep definitely a working farm oh my gosh see it smells so good so they have this restaurant right on the farm it's called three blue ducks but if you go into the bakery you can get things and then take it out here away from the busyness because this restaurant is super busy and you kind of have your own little picnic here on the farm so we ended up grabbing two pies a brownie and then this they make on the premises oh my gosh it smells so good it's like a ginger apple and lime whoa so good that is so good this place seriously is so nice and they've got we saw a bunch of pigs and cows and horses and chickens i they love how the cafe just had wild chickens running through it yeah. <laughs> oh, but these it's... pies i haven't had an australian pie that looks homemade. so homemade and then cheeky little brownie for later you're the sun beyond the Guys, Byron Bay has been so amazing. I'm literally losing my voice because it's been such a good trip. And look at this sunset. 
that will bloom come May. You're the prettiest I found. Guys, you know a place is so relaxing that once we showed you what to do here in Byron Bay, we literally just put the cameras down and kind of just enjoyed our time here in Byron Bay together. But you guys leave such lovely comments about my editing and filming. I just wanted to direct you guys towards our blog because that is pretty much Jess's like bread and butter. She spends so much time on it. She puts a blog post together on every single place we visit. I'll show you the one from Byron Bay just here, make sure you go check it out because she puts a lot of time and effort into it and I want you guys to go check it out. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. We don't know where we're going next. There's a little envelope <laughs> sitting at home with flight tickets to somewhere in the world and we're gonna open them up in the next vlog. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Guys, we are about to do something that we have never done before. We are here at the Perth airport and we have no idea where we are going. We're about to find out. Alrighty, we need guesses. Steve, where do you reckon we're going? It's Go. literally like clicking purchase on a flight and suddenly you're going there. I feel like we're on the amazing race or something <laughs> right now. Where is that? What do you mean where is that? Let's have a look, show me. 